And this is a RMT C Smart 12 foot a half. This machine's got a optional light curtain finger guard. So it allows us to see. Also has a laser cut line. It's a nice feature. But this laser guard, it's nice because you you know if you mark a part or you can see where you're cutting, but uh, you know, as an operator, you know, you've got so much of your material thickness and the gap here, if they break that barrier, I mean it's gonna stop the cycle on the machine. You just reset it, you know, on the control and keep on your way. A nice feature. C Smart 12 foot and a half. Now the Smart series is a swing beam. Ball screw back gauge. Ball travel. Also got a back rear guard laser again. Okay, this is a Dellum DAC360S. It's a CNC shear control. It's, uh, we've got it installed on a C Smart uh, 12 foot a half here. I'm just gonna go quickly over this control, the basic functions of it. Now, you can see up here I've got five tabs. You can see I'm right there on that hand. The hand means manual. This is auto screen, manual, uh, manual adjustment. And I can adjust my back gauge, or I can adjust my blade gap. This particular shear's got CNC blade gap installed. Um, parameter menu uh, for you know calibration, that kind of thing. Uh, language, contrast on the control. Um, this is my library of uh, CNC programs. I can I can hold or I can put in a hundred up to a hundred programs, twenty five steps per program. I'm going to go back to manual screen. Now you can see my, my X position right now is currently at five inches. That's what it's telling me. Now if I come down here, I've got uh, M, stands for material. Now you can set this up in your, uh, your settings or parameters, how you'd like this, but um, number one is for aluminum. Number two is mild steel. Number three, stainless. Now, if you notice here, the stainless, you know, the capacity changed because of the tensile of the material because I've got it set up. But um, again, in your settings, you, you can uh, program up to six material types, this particular control, and you can change it very easily. Um, change it, say, so, you know, I wanted half, half inch material. This is an offset on my back gauge. Say I shear apart or, you know, I. I don't know, I just quickly want to change the dimensions of my bag gauge. I just add it or subtract it. This is how long I'm going to shear, how far down the shear I'm going to shear. See, my width of my part's 20 inches. I don't want to shear full 12 feet, so I'll set that. Shear length. Now, I can actually let's say you're cutting, uh, let's say, bar stock, and you don't want to wear out your blades on the left side, let's say. You can tell the shear that you know I'm going to move down the shear 12 inches, 12 whatever, 40 inches. Um, it'll it'll offset everything to the position that you're at. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this is my stroke counter. If I have 10 in there, I'm going to I'm going to cycle the machine uh, 10 times. Or I'm going to cut 10 parts, and the machine's going to have me come back and initialize it. Or I can just go to uh, program it to zero, and it's going to count up. Now X position um, is programmed as five. We haven't started the machine. Um, X retract. Now retract, I can have zero in there or um, as soon as the hold downs clamp the material, I can say, you know, I want a quarter inch retract or whatever I program. Let's say, you know, 0.5. So a half inch retract. So as soon as the shear completes its cycle, you know, the beams at the top, the baggage is going to come back to five inches. Now 100% uh, I can program the speed of my uh, back gauge. Part position zero is I'm going to use the program. Um, one would be um, I'm going to go full retract with the tip up. 
you know, the back gets you out of position or out of the way. So back to one. Uh, the blade gap that, uh, that we've we've programmed in for set automatically from uh, from the factory, so to speak, um, for that material. Stroke length um, because I've, I've programmed or set 20 inches. Cutting force, um, I can program the force. You know, let's say I had some mere stainless or some really soft aluminum, where I've marred the material a little bit. I can turn down the cutting force. It, it just the hold down pressure also on this particular shear. But um, that's it. But I'm going to go ahead and start this machine. Down to five inches is, you know, I say I want to go to ten. Initialize. Blade gap's changing. And I go to ten inches. Now you can see I've programmed ten inches, ten inches. Now retract, so if I cycle the machine. Back half inches, the machine returns. Half inches. Shears not is not anchored or level right now, but just we're sitting in our warehouse. Quite simple. I'm gonna go in and make a so here I've got my library. I can I can you know adjust any one of these, but let's say I want to go to an open program, hit enter. So now I'm on program four automatically takes me to auto. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pick pick my material. Say, man, I want steel. I want, uh, see I'm cutting quarter inch. I want, uh, I don't have any uh, correction. I wanna stay on my squaring arm, so I'm gonna be zero. I don't, uh, this is a retract. So let's say I want 0.5. I want to start from zero, so I want my counter to count up, which I put a zero in there and it zero bet out. Now I come down to, you know, step one. If I hit enter, and I've got step two, step three. So I've got three pro, three steps here. Let's say my first step, I want four inches. I want my uh, back gauge uh, for flange six inches. Let's say my uh, last step, I want three inches. Again, I'm zero here. I'm, I want it up against my squaring arm, but let's say this this part here, I don't. You know, you could change that. Your back gauge speed. Uh, CY is how many repetitions I want on that particular wand. So let's put a two right there. Um, my blade gap, it's calling for for this material thickness. Again, I could change it if I want to. I don't know why you would, but you can. Let's see, I'm going to put in, uh, let's see, our part's 40 inches. 40 inches. And let's say we spin it to a different direction. Uh, I don't know, let's say 60 inches. There's our program, we got force, it's okay, we can change it. Here's our program. So I wanna start with step one. Um, package of four inches. I'm gonna go ahead and start the shear. Initialize it. Four inches and it automatically set my blade gap. So if I cycle this, remember we had a half, half inch retract, so my back gauge come into six inches. Now I programmed two, I'm going to hit that uh, step twice. It's coming into three inches. Entry track. We turn to our start position. So we've, 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 we've hit we've programmed and cut one cycle or one program. So very simple, easy to use, but very handy. Little control. Um, again, we've had very good luck with Dellum over the years.